Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are about to launch our space station, which is exciting. Uh, let's have a look at Mars readiness. Uh, we're at 9%. China is at 10%. Uh, everyone else is way behind. Japan, 5%. NASA, 3 Soviet Union, 3 Okay. Okay, and, and what are they working on? So NASA did multi-crew orbit and they're going to do orbital EVA in four months. Uh, Soviet Union did a commercial satellite. They're going to do Mars orbit in 17 months. China did the crewed moon landing and they don't have an upcoming launch. And... Japan did the crude moon landing, and they are doing Mars lander in 17 months. Okay, did China fail something? Uh, I think they must have. Uh, failed to launch crude moon landing, so they're launching it again, okay. Uh, that's the Soviet Union, though. Uh... uh Let's see, Mars Lander ready to launch. Japan is launching Mars Lander. China hasn't done anything for a long time. A long time. Okay. Well, we are going to launch our space station. Ready to launch. And the weather is looking fine. No, not totally fine. Adequate conditions. 4% risk of critical failure 12 percent of a negative event let's go five four three two one that's the big mama rocket go all right we have liftoff of our huge saturn rocket Ooh, it's going slow that makes me so nervous go 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 don't blow up don't blow up. Don't blow up. Whew. Makes me so nervous when they go so slow. All right, we have a secure launch. Beautiful. And our Saturns get a little boost to their reliability. Very good indeed. And there we have our space station. Yeah. That is so cool. All right. Collect any five navigation. We have crew to do to help us. So that's 50 navigation we need to gather. Jesus. And we have six turns to do it. Okay. So we can do that. Actually, we can do that. And then we can do that. That's eight, two, and four. All right, that works for me. Of course, we'll resist that. Gyroscopic stabilization is good. And flight path control is good. Okay. Then, we can do this again, and then we can do gyroscopic stabilization twice. So that takes us up to 20 already. That is pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good. Come on! Manual data collection did not go well. Gyroscopic stabilization went off without a hitch, and it did again. Alright. So then we need to do that, and that, and that. Takes us up to 28. Let's confirm. Manual data collection went well this time. So did the gyroscopic stabilization, barely. And the flight path control went off without a hitch. Good, good. Then we can do like this. That takes us up to 40.
Ooh, nice. Beautiful. Manual data collection went very well, and it gave us an extra oh, nav. Nice. The gyroscopic stabilization went off well, and it did again. So that takes us to 41. Let's do this again. Actually, why don't we just do that? Then we're done. All right. And we can resist twice. Nice. And we need to resist once. So it's a good thing that we could. Uh, this command will cost an additional... Don't care about that. Accept. All right. Task complete. Achieve Earth orbit. All right. Deploy space station systems. We have drift to contend with here. And we need 14 comms, 20 data, and 8 nav. Okay. So if we do... That, that gives us 2 and 5. And then we can do... A visual spectrum sampling that gets us to two and eight and one drift okay all right they all went well and uh, oh the my oh this is fluctuating minus one to one okay okay Hmm. And then maybe this to get us some nav. Nav is quite hard to get. There are only two commands that get it. So let's do that. All right. Manual data collection went well. Flight path control went well. And external sensor alignment went well. And we're back to zero because of this fluctuating thing. Okay. We have four turns left. We need quite a lot of comms. So if we did this... Then we could do this and this. That gets us to 11, 16, and 3. I think that's fine. Oof. That was sucked. That manual data collection is really hard. Will be increased by 1. I think I'm going to accept that. Jesus. Uh, I'm going to resist that. And what does this do? Nothing. Okay. So... What if we did this three times? That would do it for us, but we would be out of whack. So next time we'd have to do one of these. That's okay, I think. Accept. Come on. All right. Uh, resist that. And accept that. Okay. So we'll have to do one of these, and we can do two recharges. Oh, no, we can't. But we can do this. 
So we'll recharge and that gives us our bonus reward and it gets us the drift right on the money. So let's do this. All right, we're gonna have to resist here. And mission control monitoring is good. And that's the mission. Well, this task at least. Nope. It is the mission, it looks like. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Man, that's cool. Oh. And we did it first. Space station milestone achieved. And we get a lot of support. 3,221 support and 228 signs for 25 months. Wow. Okay. And Jadius, Arius, and Ward will be on the station for space station for 12 months. So a year in space, Jadius. I hope you will have fun. Okay. Now we have a Venus request mission here. Atmospheric sampling. Vehicle upgrade. Launch reliability penalty due to negative launch conditions is halved. Okay. That's actually quite nice. But first I want to see So oh, this will take forever and we need the payload as well. What do we have for the moon? Far side of the moon and we have lunar radiation with experimental fuel. Okay. What do we have on Earth? That's nice. Life support test. Lucrative mission. I think we're going to do the lucrative mission here. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the lucrative mission. We need all the money we can get. We will go with the upgraded payload. Costs a little bit extra, but that's okay. It's a Mercury capsule, okay. So just one person is going. Let's build that. Three months. We have the next phase of the Mars lander coming up. And we have the space station. We're first. Only China ha even has the science. And next we're going to do, go for modular space station. Next mission phase ready. Mars lander is ready for its next mission phase. Go to the active mission screen to continue this mission. We'll do. Let's continue with the Mars lander. Look at it. It's so cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, we need thrust here. We need five thrust, so we need to do this twice on the last turn, meaning that we need four extra data and two extra comms when we get to that point. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So it, okay, let's do the Doppler tracking. Then we can do a packet transfer. Or oh, wait, if we do the ranging uplink, then we can do the manual thrust adjustment. And then we can do Cosmic dust. We need 11 and 11. And that gives us five data. And two and one. I think that's okay. Oh, we have another turn. 
So how about we do some data compression? So that's seven and four we get. All right, I think that's fine. Ranging uplink is good. Manual thrust adjustment is good. Cosmic dust analysis is, well, it's dust. And the data compression is good. All right, very good. And then, what do we do next? So we need 13 of those and four of those. We have three turns left. What if we do this? And then do this. And then... And we could do this again. Yeah, why not? And then we can do that. So that takes us to 11, 6, and 4. Ooh, just barely. Just barely. Ah, oh, the data compression didn't go well. It didn't compress at all. We're going to resist that. That compression was better. And the manual thrust adjustment is right on the money. All right, so 11, 6, and 4 we have. We have two turns left. I think we hit this, and then this, and then once more. That takes us to 15 and 12, and 4, which means that we just need to do this twice, next turn, and we're there. Manual thrust adjustment is good. Data compression is good. Manual thrust adjustment is yet again good, and the data compression is wonderful. It's so compressed. Okay, so we just do that and we get our 50% bonus reward. And we can even do a couple of recharges. Perfect. And we do it with a turn to spare, right? Beautiful. Wonderful. All right. We are there, baby! Yeah! Alright, mid-course maneuver is done. A bit of science for five months and a bit of support. Alright. Then Mars Lander is five months we'll be landing. We have the Mercury complete in two months, the light in our planets is complete in two months. We have a new mission on Venus. Oh, it's that atmospheric sampling. Okay. All right. Next month. Life support test payload is complete. Minus 10% launch reliability. That's not great. Assigning astronaut Absalom Mendez will increase payload mission training bonus by 100%. Okay. Uh, Mendez, where are you? Comm specialist. Well, you're going. And then we'll get a celebrity. And a problem solver. Confirm. And there's no science here. Is there? Yes, there is. There is science. That payload reliability is horrendous. Let's go in September. Okay. 
we have a new mission on Earth. Solar wind monitoring. Not the most exciting mission in the world. All right. And next month we get the modular space station research done. Constructing a modular space station in low Earth orbit will provide a vital testbed for microgravity-based research and grant humanity a long-term presence in space. The first step, step in this ambitious project is to launch a core module containing power and env environmental systems to which future modules can connect. Okay, next mission phase ready. Atmospheric centers. Okay. So, let's do the payload 7600 science Jesus Christ um, how's the Mars readiness look looking ah we are hit up the Chinese now by 1% by 1% our expertise is quite high or our experience is quite high and our expertise is reasonable our preparation is none. Okay. Well. Atmospheric sensors is ready for its next. And the life support test needs a vehicle. Um, the shuttle will cost 1.7 million. So we can reuse this. Actually, we can reuse that. Uh, let's load this booster. I want it as reliable as I can get it, even though this is much, much cheaper. Let's just try this. 62% launch liability. It's nice and cheap, though. Nice and cheap. Do I really want to do that? I think. Maybe do like this. 459,000. It'll take four months. And it's reasonably reliable. Advanced shock absorption plus 5% payload reliability is not bad. But I'm going to do reduce the vehicle cost. Confirm. Build that. Okay, then it's atmospheric sensors time. There's Mars. I think we're gonna have to do deal with some heat. Yep. And it goes up t two every turn. We need six of each. So, how about we do that? I think that's a good start. That's a bad start. Visual data collection was not good. We're going to resist it, though. And we'll accept that. And we'll accept that. Okay. And the heat will go up to... And we could. How about well? How about we do this? That gives us all the comms that we need. Uh, so in that case, since I am using power, why not do this? I don't really need comms. Uh, I don't need that many comms. So we can do that. And then do that. That take, gives us all the nav that we need. Uh, 
confirm that. Jesus. 3%. Resist it. Nice. Critical success. Okay. And we'll get two heat. Which means that we basically need to do this twice. And then we can recharge. And then we can do that three times next turn. No, we can't. We can do that. That gives us three. Then we can recharge and do that. Okay. I think that'll work. Hopefully we don't have to resist here. God damn it. Um, I'm gonna accept that. And our heat is way up, but we it doesn't matter. So we can do this, recharge, and do that. And that gives us our 50% bonus. And the heat doesn't matter. Come on! Uh, can we afford that? Yes, we can. And accept that. And there we have it. Bonus is done. Okay, mission complete. 1,032 science for four months and 870 support. Not bad. Not bad. 1,603 science a month right now. That's pretty good. All right. So we have a mission slot now. Could do this atmospheric sampling. that that's the Russians we don't have any Mars missions we don't have anything out here we haven't really done anything on the outer planets yet let's take a look at our quest missions here so we're already doing that space welding Half the chance of critical event during launch. It's nice support and it's nice science. Solar wind monitoring kind of sucks. Uh, so this is half the chance of negative event during launch. And this is half the chance of critical event during launch. Okay. Okay. What's the moon mission that we have? Far side of the moon and lunar radiation. They're not that great though. The ones on Earth are actually better. Launch liability penalty due to negative launch condition is halved. It's nice science. It's nice science. I think I want to do the one with the critical event. Have the chance of critical event. It's good science. It's good support. It's good Mars experience. Let's plan it. And we'll stick an extra astronaut on that. Build that payload. Done in four months. All right, we're launching maneuvering evaluation in two months. And the Mars lander final phase is in two months as well. Okay. Media focus on Skylab experiments. Several news programs have featured stories about experiments performed on your space station Skylab, including those devised by school students uh, as part of an educational campaign instigated by your agency. One experiment has gained particular attention, a study on the effects of microgravity on spiderweb formation. 
astronaut Jadius's less than enthusiastic response has been quoted by several news reports. The science is good, but there's nothing more terrifying than spiders in zero G. I have to agree, Jadius. I have to agree, Jadius. That is some scary shit. <laughs> 200 support. Very good. Good work, Jadius. I'm proud of you. All right. Um, let's continue on to next month. Next mission phase ready for the Mars lander. And we are launching the maneuvering, maneuvering evaluation. So let's launch. 85% launch reliability, 63% payload reliability. It's raining, bad conditions, 7%. Uh, let's reschedule because there are people on board here. October, select that date, confirm. All right, then we have the Mars lander, the final phase. And we are 11 months in front of Japan. Well, Japan even launching. We are completing it. All right. Mars lander. Come on, baby. Collect seven, seven and three. No drift or anything to work with. So that's kind of nice. Hmm. 14, 14, 5. Okay. So if we do, we have four turns and four commands each turn. So we'll do that. Then... Actually, we'll do that, then we'll do that. And I think I want to do that again. That gives us two, one, and four. Then we can do the pack transfer. So that's six, three, and one. That's a pretty good start, I think. All right, visual spectrum sampling is good. We saw it. Orbital realignment is good, and the orbital realignment is good again, and the packet transfer unfortunately needs to be boosted a bit, uh, so we'll resist that. Okay, 6, 3, and 1. Decent start, I think. Now, how about we do this twice? Because then we can do this. That gives us eight and five and six. And then we can do that. That's 13, four and five. All right. We need to get data going. All right, there's some flyover course adjustments that went well. The packet transfer is good this time, and so is the data compression. All right, so now that we've done that, we have two turns left. How about we do that? Then we do that, and then we do that. That gives us 16, 12, and 6 and one power to assist. Okay. All good. Flyover course adjustment is excellent. The packet transfer, unfortunately, needs a little boost again. That's unfortunate. But we can recharge power now. And we can just do that. That gives us our bonus reward and we can actually recharge power three times. Outstanding. And we needed the power, so that's good. Resist it. And there we go. Achieve Mars orbit is done. Next task, perform Mars descent. And here we need to contend with heat. Okay. 
Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. All right, let's get down to the surface in one piece, shall we? All right, so one to three power or heat every turn. So let's start with this. That gives us two, two, and one. And then we can do that. That gives us one, one, and six. We have four turns. Uh, we don't need the comms, so we can use the comms here to generate some of this stuff. I think that's good. And we take our heat down to zero. We'll resist that. Overload of realignment is good. Data compression is compressing. And the external sensor alignment is aligned. Okay. And we get one heat. All right. So we can do this again. That takes us to seven and five. Then... I think I'll do one of these. And one of these. That takes us to 6 and 11. Oh, and we actually have a turn more. So let's do some visual spectrum sampling. So that takes us to 9 and 11. And we have two turns left after this one. So I think we're well on our way to have a perfect Mars touchdown. Ooh, so close. All right. How much heat do we build up? Two. Okay. That's actually perfect. Because then we can do this. That almost takes us there. Then we just need one. Data. So, what are we doing? We're doing... An orbital realignment, then we're doing a data compression, and then we're doing two external sensor alignments. That's perfect. All right. Orbital realignment is good. Ooh, the data compression. It did not compress at all. Uh, let's resist that, because I need the comms. We're going to resist that as well, and the external sensor alignment went well. Alright, so 13 and 16, and we'll get some heat build up. 3, but it doesn't matter, it's the final turn. We can do that, and that takes us there. And then we can just do that. Two recharges. All right, infrared mapping went well, and we are heading down to Mars. There we go. Oh, look at that. Isn't it cool? Man, that's cool. That is so cool. I love it. That is one cool lander, man. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, mission complete. We are first to land on the moon. We get some extra support for it. So we get, wow, 2,760 support in total and 390 science for 10 months. Not bad. Not bad. All right, United Space Nerds completed Mars Lander first. I love it. All right, we have a new mission out here. Uh, quest mission, atmospheric sensors. That's a lot of science. Astronauts will survive a critical launch failure. Okay. Hmm. That could be interesting. Uh, 
What do we have here? This one we are already planning. The space building we are planning. Could do uh, atmospheric sampling here. It's a lot of science. And some decent support. Let's do this one. And it will be standard because the others are reduced payload reliability, which I don't want. So build that payload. It'll take three months. We're launching maneuvering evaluation in one month. Then the Gemini is complete in two months. Then we have the light inner planets uh, ready in two months as well. And then the Mariner 1 is complete in three months. And the funding review is in four months. All right. All right. Cool. So Mars readiness, we are at 12%. We are way ahead of China now. A whole 2%. Very nice. And we are researching the Saria, which is done in a couple of months. Something like that. Uh, still 4,000 to go. Three months. Three months. If our science stays up there, I'm not sure it will. Um, all right, cool. So yeah, we landed on Mars, guys. Hooray us. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.